Hey guys and welcome to a new video. This is loot from one week of dailies. So yeah, if it's not self-explanatory enough, dailies are basically methods of making money or getting experience that can be done once a day. Another name of them would be a repeatable event. I think that's how they classify them on the wikia. Because believe it or not, there's actually a lot of different uh, methods like this that aren't on a 24-hour schedule. Keep in mind, I will not be doing every single daily possible, because that would just be a clusterfuck. Additionally, I do want to say thank you to Killer Bunny, Rock Hog, and Rumi. When I was streaming some of these dailies, they really helped me out pick more methods to do. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So yeah, for the first method, this is like the go-to daily. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this. So this is the method where you buy broad arrowheads every single day. And you can buy two batches of these from Slayer Masters, and then there also is a new additional one that you can buy in the Wilderness. So the two Masters I usually do coincide with my farm runs, so I usually do the uh, one in Canifis, and then the other one is in Taverly. But you can do two of any Slayer Master, as far as I know, so probably the most convenient would be Canifis and Morvran. But it's really up to you. Just know that you have to do two different masters because they have separate stocks. And for the newer shop, it's in the bandit camp in the wilderness. You gotta make sure you're sculled so that they don't kill you. You can also buy some of the blood weeds as well. And that'll give you a little bit extra profit. And for another method later in the video, I also buy the vial of water packs. This method is 200 to 250k profit, really depending on the market. And it takes about two minutes. It's really not much time at all. So yeah, on to the second daily this is the one where you mine flasks every day, and you also buy the raw bird meat. So it's kind of like two dailies in one. The first of which is the red sandstone in Uglog. Definitely the best word of all time. But yeah, it's just outside of the city. And you can mine 50 of the red sandstone there, and it's very easy if you have a yak, because then you can just do it in one inventory, and then you bring it to the guy to turn it into the material that I forgot what it's called, honestly. Um, and then right north of that, you can buy the raw bird meat. Definitely do that, it's a little bit of extra money for doing nothing. But you also can do 25 more flasks per day if you have the Elite Desert tasks, because it unlocks a second rock east of Sophenum. But then you're not out of the woods yet, you do have more flasks to do in Elf City. And these are the Crystal Flasks, so they're a little bit cheaper, less profit. And yeah, you mine these in the Ithil Clan, as you see. Also, there's an additional rock in the Edimu Resource Dungeon that requires 115 Dungeoneering to enter. So if you do have that, might as well, you get some extra flasks. And holy hell, that took forever to talk through. So, the next method is Vizwax. So this one's a little tricky if you've never done it before, but I recommend joining the Vizwax FC uh, French chat. And in there, you get a hint uh, with the name of the French chat. Basically, the first letter is the rune that is in the first slot, and then the last three, one of those is your second slot, and then the final slot is random for everybody. I'm pretty sure. I could be slightly wrong, but that's how I did it, and I did pretty fine. So if I am wrong, don't come killing me. Put down your pitchforks, guys. So yeah, you discard those runes, so to speak, and then you get Vizwax, and you can sell the Vizwax for like 6k each. If I were you, I would shoot for around 90, that's what I was doing and it's usually good profit. As for the fourth daily that I was doing, this is the one where you go buy the yak hide at Yatizo. And this one takes around seven minutes if you have a yak. So I just buy an inventory, put it in my yak, buy another inventory, run back, and my yak is still there, so it's very convenient. Um, and it takes me around seven minutes, so it is a little bit of a commitment. But you get like 400k profit per day with current prices, but if like Double Experience Weekend is around the corner, yak hide is gonna be very high. So, it's an easy method of making good money. And then I also did the Wicked Hood Runecrafting Daily. It's better if you have more Wicked set pieces from Runespan. I've bought the entire set back in the day. You don't necessarily need the set with you, but you need to have at least bought it once. What happens is if you have more pieces of the Wicked set, you get more Rune Withdrawals every day, and you also get more uh, Pure Essence Withdrawals. And I crafted natures because they were very spendy at the time, and they still really are. So yeah, it takes like two minutes. You make like 120k to 230k, depending on the amount of wicked pieces you have. And for the next one, this is also very, very quick. This one is just taking your free potato cactus every day from the weird old man um, next to the Calphite layer. 
So yeah, you get 20 of the potato cactus normally. You get 30 with the hard um, desert tasks and then 40 with the elite desert tasks. And yeah, the next one was where I bought uh, feathers from each of the shops that sell them every single day. And there actually is 10 different shops that sell a thousand feathers. So it's kind of like a wild goose chase around RuneScape, buying the feathers out of the shops. Just know that this one does not reset every time the game resets. This resets 24 hours after you did it. So you got to keep that in mind. And usually the best way of doing this is just pick a specific time in the day. Mine were usually a couple hours before reset. I just found it to be the most convenient for me. But yeah, you're getting 10,000 feathers per day. So it is a lot of profit. It's like 500k and it takes around six minutes definitely one that you should do if you're doing dailies and as for the next daily this one is kind of in the same vein as the feathers this one instead of buying feathers you go and buy balls of wool it's a little bit longer than the feathers because you have to bank the balls of wool uh, inventory by inventory it really helps if you have a yak but you can do this with a tortoise or a terror bird it just might take longer for you and if you are wondering where these shops are, I will have links in the description to the Wikia for each of these items that I talk about that are, you know, store-bought items. Enough of that. The next one is kind of a doozy. This one is uh, Baked Plants 1, and you buy these from the gardener in the Falador Garden. So this one takes a while. It's like 12 minutes, and it's very tedious. It's kind of like the yak hide and the balls of wool. You have to buy them from the person, put it in your yak, then buy another one, then go to the bank over and over and over. So it takes a while. Um, and there's a thousand you gotta buy. And they're 1,000 each. So it's not like a method everyone can do. Uh, you do need a mill to do it every single day. And it's not that much profit. It's only a couple hundred K, uh, depending on the market. But I thought it was worth trying. So I guess we'll see later in the video if it is worth it. But yeah, this one is also another shop buying method where you buy runes from the magic shops and the ones you buy are the fire runes body runes cosmics and astrals those are the ones that i know of that actually make a profit some of them do still make a profit but it's just so low it's not even worth caring about so you buy six thousand fire runes four thousand bodies 100 cosmics and 100 astrals per day and this one's a little iffy because some of the shops don't sell that much fire runes and so forth so I only did a certain amount of them, otherwise it would be too much uh, running around per day. So the Wikia really isn't going to help you if I don't tell you which ones I don't go to. So the ones that I did per day, there's two of them in the wilderness that I did. The guy who sends you to the abyss, and then there's the guy in the mage training arena bank. Then there's also the baby Yaga on the lunar isles, and then the void knights uh, magic shop. The magic guild in uh, Yanil, or Yanni, however the fuck you say that. And then finally, the last one is on Ape Addle, if that's how you fucking say that. Just know that you need a Gree Gree for that. Don't die. It's not going to be fun. And for the second to last daily that I was doing was another shop buying method. And this one is where you buy the vials of water packs from all the shops that sell them. And I do every single one that is on the Wikia. And it's around 250k profit per day and it only takes like 6 minutes again. So definitely worth it. It's not that much work. And then finally, the last method, holy shit. And this one is very quick. It only takes 1 minute and it's like 100k profit. You go under the bar in Taverly right east of the lodestone and you buy all of the claws the bronze iron and steel claws as well as the lock picks from martin okay with all that said and done that was a hell of an intro that was very long so yeah let's just jump right into the loot Alrighty, here we are with all of the items I collected throughout the week. And there are a couple things I do want to go over before I show you the price check. You have to know that I did spend some money to get these items. Sadly, I wasn't given them for free. But as you saw earlier, a lot of these items came from shops. Like, for example, these Brown Arrowheads are 50 GP each and I sell them for, like, you know, 80. So there is profit, but I did have to pay 50 GP each, which pretty much means this item alone I had to spend over 3 mil to get. So what does that mean? If my calculations are correct, I did spend around 14 mil. Now just know half of that came from the baked plants because they're a thousand each and you buy a thousand per day for that method. Um, so if you skip that, you don't need as much money to do dailies. Like if you're very low on cash, you can skip the baked plants. So yeah, we got to keep that in mind when I price check. We got to remove 14 mil and that should be the pure profit. And going along with that, how long did this video take? Besides the obvious seven days I had to wait 
the actual amount of time I spent doing the daily methods was pretty close to an hour and a half per day. Some days were faster, some days were slower, so let's just average out to about one and a half hours. And over the week, that's just over 10 hours. Well, now that you know that shit, we might as well price check. And oh my god, I did not expect it to be 42 mil. I honestly was hoping for like 35, so I am pleasantly surprised by that. Now, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I gotta be real. Some of these items are not gonna sell for the mid price. I'm very sure that like the big plants will not sell for very much. And that is mainly due to Double Experience Weekend just happening, but I'm fine with that. That's just how it is. So yeah, I'll be right back when everything's sold. Okay, we're back, and this is actually the next day because I had an item in there that was not selling, so I had it sell overnight, and uh, lo and behold, it did sell overnight. And those were the bagged plants because, I don't know, I sold a thousand of them pretty quick, but they just weren't selling. It was kind of sad. Uh, so I had to wait <laughs> the whole 24 hours or whatever. And so the next chance I had to play was right now, and I'm glad it sold, so it actually ended up at uh, 40.1 mil, which isn't too bad, honestly. It's around 2 mil lower than what uh, my initial price check was, but it's understandable because I actually had to sell those uh, big plants for like 130 below, if not more, which that alone almost is like a mil, so it's no wonder why. Alright, so let's get down to business. Um, as I said, we were at 40.1 mil at the end, but again, I had to spend around 14 million to do this video, so technically there is 26.1 mil of profit. Now spread out over the 10 hours of work that I put into this, that's you know pretty much 2.6 mil per hour. And keep in mind guys, that's completely consistent and it's all dependent on which uh, dailies you do because obviously some dailies are not going to be as much money per hour as other ones. For example, the ones that take like one minute or two minutes and you make a couple hundred K, those have insanely high money per hour uh, rates. But the ones that take a while, like the flasks, the baked plants, those kind of cut it down and are the reason why the money per hour is so low. A better gauge of how much money I was making would be how much money I made per day doing the dailies. And if you whip out your handy dandy calculator, you can figure out that I made around 3.7 mil per day. Which honestly is pretty damn good for only spending about an hour and a half maximum uh, doing this. And again, like I said, if I drop the flasks method and the uh, baked plants, I'd be making less money per day, but definitely a lot more money per hour. But anyway, enough with those giant tangents. I guess it's up to you guys if you find dailies worth doing. It really depends on your playstyle. At least for me, I had fun doing this, but I don't see myself doing this more. Uh, obviously, I will continue the methods that take like a minute, like the broad arrowheads and uh, possibly vidswax. The ones that don't take much effort, I might continue to do. But having like a consistent daily, you know, routine really isn't for me. I, I enjoy making my money from like Slayer and loot videos. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this helped you out if you had no idea uh, what type of dailies were out there. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.